Welcome to this video on special angle pair measures and we will also be going over special angle pairs with algebra in this video. So when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, they create eight different angles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight different angles. And these angles will form a pattern of congruent angles and supplementary angles. And you can see the pattern over here. So we have 30 degrees and 30 degrees. And of course, those are congruent because they're vertical. They're opposite from each other. And then you have 30 degrees and 30 degrees again. And then you have 150, 150, 150, 150. So it kind of makes a zigzag pattern. All right, so let's look at some of these examples. So number one, find all the missing angles. So let's start with the vertical angle. So if you look back up here at the picture, opposite angles will be vertical. So let's start with the 71 degrees. So this one will also be 71 degrees. And then these other two acute angles will be 71 degrees as well because the lines are parallel. They're going to form the same angle with that transversal. And then same thing with the 109 degree angle. So this is vertical. It's going to be the same. And then the other two obtuse angles will also be 109 degrees. All right, let's try one more together. So on number two, this one will also be 35 because it is vertical. And then the other two acute angles will be 35 degrees as well. And then all of the obtuse angles will be 145 degrees. All right, go ahead and pause the video now and try three through six by yourselves. All right, so let's see how you did. So on number three, all the acute angles were 42. And then to get the obtuse angle, you should have taken 180 degrees and subtracted 42, which gives you 138. And the reason it's 180 degrees is because these are forming straight lines, so they have to add up to equal 180. And all of the obtuse angles will be 138. All right, on number four, all the obtuse angles will be 117. And then to find the acute angle, I'm going to subtract from 180, and that gives me 63. So all of the acute angles will be 63 degrees. All right, on number five, all we are given is one right angle, 90 degrees, and these will also be 90. And if we take 180 minus 90, we get 90 again. So actually, if one angle is 90, they will all be 90. So all of those angles are 90 degrees. All right, and then the last one, all of the obtuse angles will be 158. And then 180 minus 158 gives me 22. So all the acute angles will be 22 degrees. All right, go ahead and pause the video now and complete special angle pair measure practice. All right, once you have checked that with your teacher, let's go ahead and move on to special angle pair measures with algebra. So when special angle pairs have algebraic expressions, that means there's going to be a variable like an x or a y. You must determine first if the angles are congruent or if they are supplementary. And then once you determine that, we're going to go over the steps you're going to follow. So in this first example, the angles are congruent because these are alternate interior angles. They're going to be equal to each other. So if the angles are congruent, we are going to set the expressions equal to each other because congruent means they are equal. All right, so let me zoom in here. It doesn't matter which one you write first, and you don't need to write the parentheses or the degree measure sign. All right, so I'm going to set them equal, and then I'm going to solve this for x. So the first thing that I'm going to do is move my 2x to the other side and combine it with 3x. So I'm going to subtract it. That's going to cancel out because that's 0. 3x minus 2x is x. And then I'm going to bring everything down. 
Next, I'm going to add 3 to both sides to combine it with 20. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0, so x equals 23. Once you solve for x, most of the time you will be asked to find the actual degree measures. So to do that, I'm going to substitute 23 in for x for both expressions. So 3 times 23 minus 3. That will give me 63 degrees. So this angle here is 63. And then you may want to check and just make sure you did it correctly and substitute it into the other one, but it should also give you 63 because these angles are congruent. Okay, let's try an example where they are supplementary. So if they are supplementary like, oops, sorry, like these, then I want to add the expressions and set them equal to 180 because that's what supplementary means. So I'm following this step right here. So let me zoom in. Again, it doesn't matter which expression you write first, but you don't need to write the parentheses or the degree measure symbol. So I'm going to add and set equal to 180. So in this type of problem, you're going to have like terms on the same side. So you want to combine those. So these are both like terms and these are both like terms. So x plus x, that is 2x. And then 15 minus 97, that gives me negative 82 equals 180. And then now I can just solve it like a normal two-step equation. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add 82 to both sides. So this will cancel that 0. I'm going to bring 2x down. 180 plus 82, that's 262. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So x equals 131. And then I will substitute that in for both angles. So 131 minus 97. That equals 34 degrees. So this angle here is 34 degrees. And then 131 plus 15, that gives me 146. So this angle is 146. All right, we have two examples at the bottom to try. So go ahead and pause the video now and try those by yourself. Okay, in the first example, these are congruent because they are alternate exterior angles. So we need to set them equal to each other. So x equals 3x minus 120. So I want to get my variables on the same side. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides, which leaves me with negative 2x. Then I'm going to divide by negative 2 on both sides, so x equals 60. Then I'm going to substitute that in for both angles, so this one is just 60 degrees. This one should be the same because they're congruent, so 60 degrees. Alright, in the next example, these are supplementary, so I'm going to add them together and set them equal to 180. Then I'm going to combine my like terms, so x plus x is 2x, 50 minus 10, that's 40, equals 180. Then I'm going to subtract 40 on both sides, so 2x equals 140, then divide by 2 on both sides, so x equals 70. Alright, now I will substitute that in for both angles, so 70 plus 50, that's 120, so this angle is 120, and then 70 minus 10 is 60, this angle is 60. Alright, you can pause the video now and go ahead and complete special angle pair measures with algebra practice.